Welcome back to the channel guys. In this video, I'll be showing you how you can set up uh, archiving for user's mailbox. So let's think of a scenario here. Uh, let's say one of the users on M365, uh, they have 50 gigs of mailbox and then suddenly they're getting messages that their mailbox is about to, you know, get full. Uh, in those kind of scenarios, what you can do is you can either buy or uh, upgrade their license. So for example, if you upgrade them from a business basic to E3, then that would give them 50 gigs more, which would be 100 gigs of mailbox space. But uh, for small businesses where they're, the budget is not there, uh, what we can do is we can use a solution called archiving, which is not new. It has been there for a while now. Uh, but this uh, time, it's it's a bit, uh, I guess, uh, automated, uh, wherein you don't have to manually export the file in PSD and save it somewhere, uh, or you don't have to create another mailbox or shared mailbox and move the ma uh, data manually to that shared mailbox from your inbox. Uh, what this does is you get another uh, mailbox uh, which is kind of attached to your primary mailbox and that archive mailbox gives you 50 gigs of extra space so let me just show you what what I mean here uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, just log into the admin portal of uh, my uh, test environment or like a test tenant so yeah, I'm just signing in here with the global admin account and uh, I'm at the Microsoft 365 admin center uh, we'll just pick a user here for demonstration here so I'm gonna pick up pick a Adele um, so if I go to the mail section, we can view the, the storage uh, they have. So they currently have 100 gigs, which is because this trial account gives me E5, which is like the highest level of license you can have. And E-series, all the enterprise uh, series license gives you 100 gigs of mailbox. Uh, if it's a business basic, a standard, those will give you uh, 50 gigs. Uh, so for example, let's say Adele has been working for a firm for like 10 years and uh, she has more than 100 gigs of email in her mailbox now. Uh, so in those scenarios, what we can do is we can enable archiving for this person and then we can introduce certain uh, tags or policy which would automatically process emails uh, certain years older. Uh, to move to the archive so that way users doesn't have to manually copy and move uh, it saves all the trouble and it just automatically works on the back end uh, with less overhead task so yeah let's go ahead and do that first of all to verify if this user has archiving enabled uh, we have to go to the exchange uh, admin center so I'm just gonna open that here and We'll go to the mailboxes, we'll look for Adele, and if I go to the, I believe it's others, mailbox archive, and it says disabled, we are going to enable that. You can name this, uh, but it doesn't really matter. I have, uh, I realized that it just automatically renames it so don't even bother renaming it or naming the archive mailbox uh, something else so we'll just check that again and there we go it is enabled now and you can see it is auto expanding uh, which means uh, it's gonna it can go above 100 gigs so they have 100 gigs in their primary mail and then 100 gigs in their archive and if there is more it can increase and go beyond the 100 gigs which is a really neat feature i would say by microsoft uh and yeah that is enabled now uh now what at this point uh if we look at the users outlook client if they are using outlook client they will see another mailbox uh 
below their primary email it will it will be called something like uh, online archive or in place archive it would be a separate uh, thing below their primary account so they would have their main uh, email inbox sent items deleted etc and then there will be in place archive which would be just copying what they have in their primary mailbox so if they have inbox deleted and sent items in their primary the archive will also contain those automatically uh, so this is enough uh, for for the user to manually move items from their inbox to the to the inbox of the archive however if they don't want to do it and if we want to automate it we can definitely do that and that is done through the compliance center so i'm going to go back to the admin center here and open up the compliance center and uh, let's see it's something so what i'm about to show you is called uh, uh, retention policies retention tag uh, so in the purview center uh, we will expand open uh, data life management go to exchange legacy and you can see there are uh, three tabs here uh, but what, what we'll be working on or working with is the the retention tag MRM retention tag MRM retention policy so basically what it is is you create the the tag so tag dictates what's gonna happen and policy is something you can assign to a user so it's going to be tag policy and that policy goes to the user so that's how it is you define what will be done or what has to be done in the tag you assign that tag to the policy and then you assign the policy to the user's mailbox so that's how it is uh, you can see if i go into tags you can see there's already predefined policies from microsoft which you can use uh, if I open or just just an overview or if you if, if we just uh, glance at it we can see uh, what it kind of does so this one says one month delete one week delete if I open this one here uh, it basically says all the person personal items uh, if they are deleted they are they're still uh, need to be retained for 30 days before it's actually deleted so you can assign this tag to a policy here and then assign that policy to the user and if they delete something which is personal it's going to be retained for 30 days so that's what this tag is uh, what we're going to do is we're going to create one and for for the purpose of the, this video what i'll do is i will be making a tag which will move on any emails uh, maybe older like three years and older to the archive so in their main email they have uh, emails from three years ago two years ago the current year and the rest of it anything older than three years will be automatically moved to the archive mailbox by this tag or policy so i'm just going to call it uh, move items older than three years to archive all right so you can add a description i'm not going to do that and this is how where you define what it is going to do uh, so, or what it will be applied to so wh what i would choose here is automatically to entire mailbox because we want to move items everywhere in the in doesn't matter where it is if it's an in inbox in sent items and deleted anything which is older than three years or above needs to be moved to the archive so there is space so there is you know so we can clear up space in the main uh, mailbox all right so we'll choose that uh, and we'll configure the settings here so these are the actions that you can perform using these tags you can delete allow recovery uh, you can permanently delete items or if you really want to clear up items or if you want to move items to archive so we are trying to move items to the archive so that we still have the data even though it's it's very old so we're going to choose that and and let's see 
So uh, now I think they have changed the interface. We can just straight up define how many days. So as I said, anything that is older than three years. So uh, let me just bring up the calculator here. Uh, 365 into three is 195. So that's what we're gonna enter here. Oh, 1095, my bad. That's the items that have reached this age. And then we are moving the, those items to archive. So we'll hit next. Looks good. We'll hit submit. And that's your tag. It's created now. And if we look at the tags here, we will see our tag that we created. Move items, yeah. Now, all we have to do is assign this to a policy. So we'll go here. Uh, by default, there is always a default policy. However, for this purpose, I'm going to create a unique one. So we'll call it uh, Adele's. That's how Adele is spelled. I don't know how it's A D E L E. Yep. Uh, Auto archiving policy. Looks, uh, looks good okay and that's the name uh, it's asking us to add a tag which we will select the one we just created so 1095 days move all the items to you know uh, just went over that okay so next looks good submit and that is our policy now so if we go back there is the default that's the one for uh, Adele and now all we have to do is go back to the exchange admin center and not the uh, 365 it would be exchange uh, I'm just gonna open this again I guess uh, refresh the page go to the mailboxes open up Adele's mailbox and now we will go to mailbox or others and if we look at the policies that's litigation hold automatic replies no not that right. mailbox policies so it's under mailbox not others uh, you will see the retention policy is set to default MRM which is this one here but we want to use this so yeah we'll just click on here and we will switch the retention policy to Adele's auto archiving policy and hit save there it's gonna update the policy and yeah that is about it uh, slowly and steadily this policy would find and go through all the emails Adele has in her Outlook or in her you know mailbox and it will move all the items which are three years or older to the to the mailbox below the primary which is the archive mailbox and just free up the space and yeah that's how you can uh, uh, enable auto archiving or archiving and how to use retention policy to move data uh, if you have any questions please ask me in the comments and thanks for watching